Hello, VC, and hello, good people. It's Chris, your Blues Guy, back here once again. Welcome back to Blues Guy Vinyl. Thanks for joining me here today. Just got a short, quick one for you. A double album marama, A double LP of Palooza, if you will. Um, I swung out to a thrift store and two record stores the other day, and I didn't set out to find or... You know, search out double albums. It was just one of those weird, fluky things that happened. So, jump right into it. Uh, my thrift store find was Bill Haley and the Comets. Bill Haley Rock and Roll. Two album set, two dollars at a thrift store. And this is right up your blues guy's alley, of course. You know, Bill Haley, one of the founding fathers of early rock and roll. Kind of took that uh, that R&B sound from the 40s and that country and western swing sound and kind of put them together. And really it was rockabilly music and it was just great good time music. So you've got Rock Around the Clock and a uh, whole lot of shaking going on, flip, flop and fly, shake, rattle and roll. Uh, as well as some extra stuff that you maybe aren't as familiar with from Bill Haley. Other covers, you know, like Johnny Be Good. Um, it's in pretty good shape. You know, the cover itself does, of course, have the usual little bit of ring wear that you're going to you're gonna find. Um, you know, the corners are a little beat up. Unfortunately, it's not a gatefold, anything fancy like that. But the, uh, the vinyl itself is Pickwick label. And it's in very fine shape. Well, upside down. Sorry. In very fine shape, actually. Very, I would say these these records are in very good condition. There's no scratches or anything on them at all. I cleaned them up. There was a little bit of dust and some fingerprints. And that was that was really about it. Uh, no scuffs or scratches, and they sound very clean. And this is a pressing from 1972, I believe. So those early 70s pressings have some heft to them as well, which for me personally, I think just adds to the the quality of the sound. It, for me, it, I don't know, maybe I'm nuts, but it gives it a richer, warmer sound, in my, in my opinion. Cheers. Uh, vodka, straight vodka. No, I'm kidding. It's just a glass of water. So, that's all the luck I had at the thrift store, but for two bucks, I was super happy to find that, of course. So then, I zipped over to a, a local record store, and for five dollars, I couldn't pass up Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. Live bullet. And again, you know, usual wear. Um, everything else actually on it, the spine and everything else is really good. It's just that usual ring wear that you're bound to see. But this one is a fantastic gatefold. And on the inside, it's in wonderful condition. The records themselves, again, are in great shape as well. This is on Capitol Records, by the way. But again, you know, they were just dusty, smudgy, but no scuffs or dings or anything like that. So I really like Bob Seger. I think he's one of those performers that he just really gives her all the time, you know, and pretty much every song that he's put out, he just really gives it. Um, that blue-eyed soul, rock and roll type stuff. It's great. Um, that's all I found at that other record store, but then on my way home I stopped in because there's like three or four in my immediate area. So I stopped into a place just a few blocks away from me on my way home. And your blues guy found him a very nice copy of a blues double album, the Paul Butterfield Blues Band. And this as well is a live album. This was $4. Cover itself, as you can see, is in rough shape. The ring wear. Got more rings than Saturn, but, you know, it is what it is. Again, it's just the single outer sleeve. This is on Electro Records. And the vinyl, again, the vinyl was in very good condition, very good plus condition. Again, just the usual dust that you'd find. And lastly, I was pretty happy to find this one too. I was pretty jacked to find John Mayall. This is John Mayall 
10 years are gone. And this one as well is a gate fold. And John Mayall's always been one of those blues rocker guys, but he's kind of leans or is tilted slightly more to the blues side of things, you know, John Mayall's Blues Breakers. He was part of that whole British blues movement that really helped to uh, influence the British invasion that came over and sort of re-popularized blues, American blues, to Americans. Um, you know, John Mayall was one of the instrumental characters in that, as well as Alexis Corner, and of course, you know, Eric Clapton. And a lot of these guys kind of ran in the same circles or played in each other's bands or supported each other in some way anyways. So, Polydor Records, again, a two-album set. And uh, it's, it's, this one's more of the blues rock end of things. You, you know, it doesn't have his classic Parchment Farm or anything like that on it. But it's got some great blues standards like Sitting Here Thinking and uh, Burning Sun. And again, it's just slightly more to the rock side of blues rock for, for this album. But he tends to kind of waver back and forth. He'll do the lot. He'll get a little bit more rock and roll. Then he'll kind of get a little bit more traditional blues, if you want to call it that. Uh, but most of his uh, lyrics and song content itself will be very blues related. Um, it's just maybe the melodies and a lot of the guitar phrasings and that sort of thing from the various band members will be slightly more skewed to rock and roll. But great stuff, great finds. I was very happy with. Uh, everything there, and um, nary a dollar spent, really, that's like 10 bucks, 10 bucks, 10, 11 bucks, Canadian, that's not bad, you know, so, you know, there again, there's still hope out there, just, you got to scour those thrift stores, you can't go in every day, you're going to get discouraged, you're not going to find any anything every trip that you go on, but uh, the one that's close to my place here, I go uh, once or twice a month, and sometimes I strike out. I see the same old crap, and other times, you know, I come across something great. So, you never know. So that's going to do it for today. Uh, thanks again for coming by and uh, supporting Blues Guy Vinyl. Talk to you again real soon. Have a good one. Take care, and don't forget, keep digging and keep spinning. Bye-bye.